Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And as promised, the tarp gets here and it's fully installed. So I'm going to be showing a video on more of a step-by-step -step on how to install it. So the first thing was I went on Amazon and I started researching different types of tarp kits. I came across uh, this one here. Um, and the reason I bought it was if you, we look in the uh, description, it, you know, the smallest basically the shortest it can go is 48 inches most other tarp kits sit around 60 inches um after you know working with this it can actually go smaller than that but that's just what they recommend all right so it looks like we have the gears we have the hooks bungee cord um, the bag with all the hardwares in it with all the nuts and bolts washers we have the manual i don't personally I didn't find it that useful. Handle. We have the driver's side and passenger brackets, which are, at a first glance, it's pretty heavy duty. Looks like we also have a grease to grease the bearings there. And then we have the driver's side and passenger side. And these look uh, heavy duty grade too. So these are aluminum. They look like. Um, so we have the two. We have the driver's side and the passenger side. And then we have the inner channel. So after completing a test fit. I just slid the inner channel. And then you have the passenger and driver side. Outer channels. If we measure it. It looks like we come out to 81 inches. So it means that we're going to have to just take a grinder. And cut it shorter than that. Um, we will have to cut the inner channels as well as evenly on both sides on the outer channels. Now if you look at the tarp kit, just double checking. Yep, they sent me the right one, 4.5 by 12. And the um, the material of the tarp kit is just, you know, like a lightweight mesh. If we need to, it looks pretty easy to switch out in the future if I want to switch to like a waterproof first. All right, first step, we take the measurements of the height and um, the width of the brackets, and then we replicate that on the passenger side. We drill a hole and we put in the first hole. The issue that I have here is my utility trailer doesn't have wide, white structural support that a dump truck or a heavy duty trailer would have so to put in the second bolt we're actually gonna have to drill it but we'll do that at a later time all right so after we did that then what I did was we cut with the grinder the outer channels and inner to make it fit and then um, I had an issue using self tappers because now it's spinning around on the bearing so then we put in so we installed the gear Don't forget to also use an Ellen key and also tighten down the bearings for the passenger side as well as the driver. And once we lock it into place, now we can use the self tappers and self tap the outer channels and inner channels together. Next, we take the tarp and we lay it out over the trailer. We use self tapping screws with the washers and we tighten those down um, we take the handle we put the handle on and that allows us to roll up our tarp kit and then also if you can see here on the actual tarp itself it allows you to run a separate bar so on more of the bigger dump trucks and dump trailers you can actually put in a separate bar while right on the top of the railings but since it's a small utility trailer I don't I have really no use for that
And then once we make sure everything is lined up and everything's together, we take a uh, we take a drill and we actually drill into the uh, the bracket and the trailer itself to install a second. And I just put a little smaller stainless steel. So what I did was I put the bungee cord on here and I tightened it down. And then what you do is this here, you sit in the lock position. That'll ensure, but one thing I'm not too fond with is let's say after a few days of rain, it's already starting to rust a little bit, which is not a good sign. But oh, and then one more thing, um, I did I do realize I think I installed this in upside down. But if you guys have any questions, just put it down below and I'll make sure to answer them the best I can. Um, there is also hooks that you're supposed to install, but the way I plan on running my tarp kit is, yeah, so as I need to from up there, I'm just gonna take a bungee and actually clip it to this bar right here. So I'm not gonna run any hooks from my design, um, but those are super useful and a lot of people run them. And then I think just using a bungee cord up here is fine. Uh, keeps it out of the way, shouldn't blow around. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys.